there welcome back to my channel you cannot change your future but you can change your habits and surely your habits will change your future this is one of my favorite quotes and i'll tell you why anything we practice long enough good or bad however small it is gets ingrained into our systems becomes a habit and eventually turns out to be very difficult to break so it's quite important that we develop good habits and prevent bad habits from getting us i'm sure you would have heard the saying you are what you do repeatedly yes habits add up you might not see any difference immediately but over time you will see changes good changes in case of good habits and that exactly is why in this video i am planning to talk about the six habits that helped me see growth in my life after i started them in 2020 the first habit is very simple but it might be the most difficult one for some of you out there putting your gadgets away so i started it simple with just my phone so the idea is to put your phone away 30 minutes before going to bed preferably in a different room i know i know having a phone right beside while sleeping allows you to answer those important calls messages and emails right away but it is also equally important to draw a line have a proper bedtime routine otherwise it can have a very big impact on your body your brain health especially here are the two reasons that you should avoid phones at least while sleeping scrolling through social media or news right before sleeping keeps your mind active and engaged that in turn disrupts your sleep quality Blue light emitted from your phone is bad for your eyes and brain. Blue light exposure decreases melatonin, a hormone which is responsible for sleep wake cycle. Hope that's enough motivation to get you started on this habit if you're not already following it. The second habit is reading. The key here is consistency. Reading every single day even if it's just for 15 minutes or 10 pages a day will enhance your life in many ways. Here are a few benefits of reading. It has the power to change your brain structure which makes you more empathetic and improves cognitive processes, makes you more knowledgeable and smarter, improves focus, concentration and memory, changes your mindset. Reading biographies provide inspiration and allows you to travel with them trust me you will never feel lonely again if you are in the company of a good book and these days i've been using kindle a lot so check it out if you prefer ebooks and if you're not into reading then here are a couple tips for you the first one is having a book ready beside your bed this will serve as a visual clue because it's more encouraging compared to picking out a book from your cupboard and then sitting down to read the next one is if you think you're not the reading type then try audiobooks audible and blinkist are my personal favorite the next one is oil pulling want fresh breath whiter teeth and better overall health then go for oil pulling pull out all that bad bacteria from your mouth with the help of oil it's as simple as that take about 1 tablespoon of oil or maybe a little less if you're a beginner i prefer coconut oil just for its taste but you can go with sesame oil sunflower oil or olive oil also Swish it around in your mouth taking it between all your teeth for 15 to 20 minutes start with 5 minutes though if you're you know just getting started then after you're done with it spit it out never swallow because it contains a lot of bad bacteria if you're living in a cold place like me then prefer spitting it in the trash instead of your sink because otherwise you might end up clogging your pipes When oil is added to water, they both tend to remain separate. But when we add oil to oil, they combine pretty well, right? Same concept here. There are around 600 different types of microorganisms inside our mouth and they are covered with lipid which is a type of fat that is more like oil. And when we swish oil inside our mouth, 
this attaches itself to all these microorganisms and pulls them out. That is the reason it is very important we spit this oil out and not swallow because otherwise we will be swallowing a lot of bad toxins into our body. Overall, oil pulling helps in reducing bad breath, improving gum health, preventing cavities, whiten your teeth, helps reduce the load on immune system as it removes a lot of bad bacteria which otherwise your body's immunity system has to fight with. The fourth habit that I'm going to talk about is, you guessed it, workout and my type of workout is yoga and pranayama or breathing exercises. These help in reducing stress, anxiety, rejuvenate the body and help in connecting with or understanding yourself better. Regular exercises gets oxygen flowing into your brain. This will wake your body up and prepare your brain to meet the challenges for the day. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Again, Try to stay consistent here by starting small. Otherwise, the thought itself might be overwhelming and you might never start, let alone sticking to it. The fifth habit is being thankful. I mentioned gratitude more than once in my videos in great detail. So it's better I don't keep repeating myself. I will provide a link to it in the description box. So make sure you check it out if you haven't already, but do it after you watch this video completely. The last habit on my list is hydrate. Yes, drinking warm water in seated position as the first thing in the morning has numerous benefits for your health. Throughout the day, don't gulp, but sip water. So here is an infographic that tells you how to drink water the right way from my Instagram. Follow me on Insta if you prefer consuming more of such content. Overall, putting gadgets away, reading, oil pulling, workout, being thankful and staying hydrated is equal to growth. When you plan on starting something good, then don't wait for a new year, a new month or some auspicious time. Every single day is an opportunity for a fresh start. So go ahead and start this very day. Let me know in the comment section the one habit that you're planning to inculcate in 2021. With that, this is Chandana signing off. Stay happy and healthy. Talk to you all soon.